Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. I made it back. With some some food. Food to eat. See what Allah has blessed us with today. Oh, we have a little bit of wine. Ah, oh, some bread. Mashallah, mashallah. Yeah, some sauce. How are you today out there? Are you doing okay? I am doing okay. What do you want to know? Ask me, I'll tell you. The meaning of Quran, Surah 3, Muhammad said, that Allah takes up no sons. <clears throat> I tell you that is misinterpretation. When Isa was crucified, after the death, and then the resurrection, and the appointing of Allah, the A certain group <clears throat> Oh that is spicy hot Ooh. A certain group known as the Gnostics They were a group that were tampering around with the Injil Now you have to understand Muslim The Injil came before the Quran and the fathers that hold the Injil they understand it the Gnostics who were a foul group of Christians rose up and they start to say lies about Isa they say that Isa did not die in fact he got married to Mary Magdalene and he has sons. Now, you have to understand that Musa 
He carried around the Ark of the Covenant. And inside the Ark of the Covenant was the law and the staff, which is a representation of Allah guiding the children of Israel with His Ark. But Muslim, this ark is material. This ark is a dead ark. It is not a living ark. It is made of wood and gold. So Allah creates for Himself. He speak out of His own mouth. He speak a word that is begotten, mean Allah. Kalamat mean Allah, begotten from Allah, spoken, not create out of clay, spoken. Understand that these people, they were um, very foul, the Gnostics. So when you have the understanding that Allah, He's speaking. Isa into existence. Isa became a living, a living ark of God's covenant, Allah's covenant with us, a living ark. Inside Isa is the spirit of Allah, and that which speaks from his mouth is the kalamat min Allah. So he only does that what he sees his father doing. It is not a hard thing to understand. Now, the Gnostics came along and started to tell lies. Meanwhile, Muhammad, he is with his, meeting his wife. He gets married to Khadija. Khadija's family, they are from the Anjil. The real, not from the Gnostic, they are from the Anjil. So when these Gnostics came to the Arab lands, where Muhammad was, these people, they started to say that Jesus did not die, Isa did not die, Yahshua did not die. No, he got married and he has sons and daughters. Muhammad knew the truth to that. And Muhammad knew that Allah and Isa are one. The Ark of the Covenant is one. It is Allah, one. Therefore, King Dawa, he's writing in Psalms, he writing that Allah swears and he will not repent. Yahshua, Isa, you will be a priest in the order of Melchizedek forever, forever. Because what is worship? What is religion? If it is not Allah's. Do you understand that? So who is the most perfect in practicing religion? And understanding the word of God. And speaking it from his own mouth. That is the high priest. The one that Allah ordains as priest forever. And that is Isa. He is the only one. The only begotten by God. And my grandfather Muhammad knew this. So he said, Allah takes up no sons. Knowing that when he's saying Allah, he is also referring to Isa. Because Allah and Isa are one. They're one. So when these Gnostic Christians came around saying that, oh, Isa has eight sons and daughters, Muhammad being around Khadija knew the truth. So he had to write it for you, Muslim. And he wrote it in a manner, not he did not write it, a Abu Bakr wrote. Muhammad would have said, Isa, the lamb, Isa Ahalan, Isa Ahalan, the Lamb, is one. Only that salvation only can come from Allah. 
Therefore, Isa is the salvation of Allah. They are one. So, that is why in the Quran it is a mistranslation. Because you cannot, you cannot sway from the beginning. It is true from the beginning to the end. Alpha Omega. And in the beginning it is stated by Allah to Adam Hawa that he is going to create for himself a seed from a virgin. And thus he did in Surah Maryam. It is said how he did it. So you must understand the meaning of this banner. And the truth of the Quran and how the scribes and the teachers of the law, the Imams, the Ayatollahs, the Sheikhs, how they have been misguided and they're teaching lies. If there is only one God, there can be only one story. And it is not your story. It is Allah's story, not man's story. Man is created by Allah. And in Allah's story, He says that He will Himself will make a seed Do you understand this truth? Do you now understand the whole true meaning of that Quran verse where it says, states, Allah takes up no sons. It is targeting the Gnostics, the lying people who say that Jesus got married and has children. Even today, there are kings and queens of the earth who try to lie and say that they are bloodline from Isa. That is a lie. For Isa never had sons or daughters. They are one. Isa does not need to do that. Isa does what the father does. He is the ark. And if Isa want to make something, he'll make it. Even in the stories in Quran about Isa as a boy, Isa makes a bunch of birds out of clay. And he breathes life into these clay birds. And the birds become alive and they fly. This is your story, Muslim, in your Quran. There is only one who can give life and create life and take life. That is Allah. Who do you say that Isa is? So when Isa was asking his apostles, he said to them, Who do you say that I am? And that is when one of them stood up and they said unto him, Thou art the Kalamat Min Allah, the begotten from God, the Son in a manner for a human being to understand the Spirit. Isa is like a son, as you and I have seed and sperm and egg, we create for ourselves sons and daughters. Allah is greater in the manner that He can speak life into existence. And Allah can dwell wherever He chooses to dwell. Who are you to tell Allah what He can and cannot do? You are nothing but a creature created by him. And you are under a curse of death. Only one can save you from the death. And that one is the one that Allah sent. And his name is Isa, Jesus, Yeshua. And the meaning of that name God salvation. So by that which saves you, you have to understand that if Allah is the one that gives life and Allah is the one that saves you, then the Lamb of the Most High God is one. 
That is the meaning of the word Isa Halan. Islam. Isa, the lamb. Ahalan, Ilan, that's Arabic. Do you understand this, Muslim? That was very good. That food that is a blessing from Allah. Wonderful. Very good. Praise your name, O Most High God. Thank you for the bread. Thank you for the wine. And thank you for the friends. Though we are not together in flesh, we are together in spirit. So do not deny this truth. For Muhammad said that if you deny this truth, you are known by a name. So do not deny this truth. Lest I mark you as a kafar. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum.